hi guys welcome to code bashers so guys as you all know that on our youtube channel currently infosys system engineer preparation series is going on and previously also around five to six videos regarding different different section questions of infosys system engineer we have already uploaded on our channel in this video also we will be discussing about a new section that is the latest puzzle questions that have been asked in infosys system engineer exam i will be discussing in this particular video make sure that you're watching this video till the end because lot of you were asking me sir please put puzzle questions that are asked in infosys video also so here i am with the video so make sure to watch this video till the end and guys as i have already told you there is a dedicated playlist for infosys system engineer preparation okay the link of this playlist you will find in the description box as well as in the pinned comment make sure to check this out so before moving ahead make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel and guys do join this telegram group it is dedicated for 2025 batch students regarding all the different different companies that discussions are happening here okay so you can also join it the link of this te telegram group you will find in the description box okay so guys now let's start this video okay so guys the first puzzle question is this if you will look closely you can see there are three columns and four rows given okay and like guys see many of the time you will get the puzzle questions like this so what is the criteria of finding what is the logic so you will have to always find that what is the increasing order what is the increasing order okay what is the increasing order so this is the increasing order so you have to do some operations in the first and second column to get the value of the third column so let's just see what what operations we can do here so that we perform those operations in first and second column and we get the value of the third column so if you will look closely what you what you will be finding you will be finding that first column is 2 so we are doing 2 square plus third column is 3 we are doing 3 square now what is this 2 square plus 3 square will give us uh, 13 13 minus 2 13 minus 2 will give us 11 similarly for the second column also we will do similar approach 4 square plus 1 square minus 2 it will give us 15 third column also 7 square plus 3 square minus 2 it will give us 56 okay so if you will do the calculations you will get okay 7 square is 49 3 square is 9 so 49 plus 9 is 58 minus 2 is 56 similarly for the third column we have need to find the question mark so x square plus 8 square minus 2 equivalent to 87 so x square plus 8 square was 64 minus 2 62 and 87 so x square is 25 so x value is 5 so this is the value of answer of first question that is x equal to 5 so whenever these type of questions occur you need to find either the row or the column in which the values are increasing and if there are three columns you need to do calculations on the first and second column to get the value of the third column like i did here okay so i hope now this question is clear to you let's move ahead okay and guys please do write in the comment section that when is your infosys sc exam on campus and if i am planning to take the mock test for infosys sc exam so are you interested in giving that mock test before your actual exam so both these questions do write in the comment section now let's move towards the next question what it is saying 237 then there is an alphabet and there is 463 so now what you can do you uh, what you can do now you need to check that what is the pattern it is forming either the pattern will be forming like this or the pattern will be forming like this now if you look closely you can see that pattern pattern is forming like this so let what is the pattern so if we multiply these two numbers 2 and 4 so 2 into 4 is 8 okay let me just write a b c d a b c d e f g h i j k l okay like this a is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 like this now 2 into 4 is 8 so what does 8 stands for 8 stands for h only so this is 8 next is 7 into 3 because this is given to us we can verify like this so 7 into 3 is 21 okay what will be 21 if you will see that 26 is z so s t s t u v w x y z so it is 26 25 24 w is 23 v is 22 u is 21 so you can see here the multiplication is coming out to 21 and that is the 21st character is u so there is u coming here 
so now what will be the value of this so it will be 3 into 6 that is 18 and what's the value of 18 so t will be 20 s will be 19 so j k l m n o p q r r so r is the correct value for it r will be 18 so r s t so r is the 18th character so therefore the value of this character is 18 so i hope now this is clear to you whenever these type of uh, uh, table questions are there try to form the logic either column wise or row wise okay i hope now it's clear to you now guys many of you were uh, asking me that sir from where we should prepare for our infosys exam so to overcome this issue what we have done we have prepared an infosys xc exam preparation material so on our top mid page of code bashers you will find that there is infosys system engineer exam preparation material designed for 2025 batch students if you will open this material inside this material we have covered all the sections which are coming in your exam okay there is numerical puzzle verbal ability pseudo codes logical reasoning mathematical ability english grammar questions paragraph writing so all these seven sections will be coming in your exam and inside this preparation material we have covered all these sections okay for every section okay for every section we have around 100 plus previously asked questions of infosys for every section so you name the section and you will once you will get these notes okay get this material you for every section you will get a dedicated pdf in that pdf there will be 100 plus previously asked questions of infosys so for sample purpose if i will open the pseudo codes pdf so inside this pseudo code pdf you will find that we have a proper question we have the pseudo code there we have the proper options and we have answer also and there is an explanation also given okay explanation is also given here so i hope now this is clear to you okay L lot of questions of pseudo code also we have so you can see here we have uh, we have 100 plus pseudo codes previous year questions inside this pdf so all the pdfs you will be getting for the all the sections mentioned here and all the questions discussed inside these pdfs are from the previously asked infosys questions only so i hope now it's clear to you okay if you are interested for this material the link of this material you will find in the description box as well as in the pinned comment okay and this particular material is at a very nominal cost of rupees 99 so if you are preparing for infosys exam and don't know from where to prepare then you can check out these resources the links you can check in the description box now let's continue in the on the next <coughs> question so here Again, there is a puzzle given 51, 71, 3, 64, 61, 4, 235, question mark 5. You need to find the value of question mark. Now I have told you whether go inside this direction or go downside direction. So now what we have found, if you will look closely, so if we will divide the column 51 divided by 3, what we will be getting, we will be getting 17. Similarly, 64 divided by 4, we will be getting, what we will be getting, we will be getting 116. Now see. We are getting 17 and 16 respectively in these columns. But if you will look closely, what they have done, they are getting 71 and 61. So they have just reversed it. 71 and 61. So this is the pattern that they are following. Now we just have to do 235 divided by 5. What we will be getting? We will be getting uh, 447 and we have to reverse them. So 74. So correct answer is 74. Correct answer is 74. I hope now this puzzle is also clear to you. It is simple. <clears throat> now, next question. Next is again, either you can go in this direction or you can go in this direction. Generally, in case of alphabets, you try to go in the below direction. So, what is Y? Y value will be 25. What is D? D value is 4. What is U? U value will be 21. Okay, U value is 21. You can clearly see that there is a pattern. That is y minus u is equivalent to d. 25 minus 21 equivalent to 4 that is equivalent to d. So this is what a pattern is getting formed. Similarly, we can verify it here. Is v minus o equivalent to g? So what is the value of g? g value stands for a, b, c, d, e, f, g. Okay, it stands for 7. What is the o value? Uh, what is the v value? Let's just find v value. We have found it before also. So v, v value is 22. So V value is 22. Okay. Now what? Oh sorry, 22. Now what is the value of O? So G H I J K L M N O. What is H? It is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So O value is 15. So 22 minus 15 is 7. That is G. Okay. So this also follows the same logic. So similarly, we need to find that 
what is the what is m minus k so what is the value of m m is 13 13 minus k is 11 that is 2 that is coming out to be b b value is 2 so therefore correct option for here is b i hope now this question is also clear to you now again before moving towards the next question please do write in the comment section that when is your infosys exam and uh, i am taking mock test for infosys system engineer role are you interested for that mock test or not next question is find the missing term in the third figure okay this is the puzzle given we need to find what is the missing term here so if you will look closely again what you will find there are two columns okay it is for this particular uh, sphere we have 2 square plus 4 square that this will give us 20 for next thing we have 3 square plus 9 square this will give us 90 similarly we need to find 1 square plus 5 square is equivalent to question mark that is 26 so 26 here is the correct answer okay you always need to find the pattern between these things okay just like how i found it you can also find it during the exam okay i hope this puzzle was also easy and it's like not a big effort okay now moving towards the next question now before moving towards the next question guys do join this telegram group if you have not done it till now it is dedicated for 2025 batch students all the different different companies discussions are happening here you can also join it the links are in the description box okay now given a set of nine numbers that relate to each other in a certain way determine the missing number okay determine the missing number here now see this particular sphere it is divided into sets now what is the corresponding sets this is one set that is 1 and 5 this is one set that is 20 and question mark this is one set that is 2 and 10 and this is one set 3 and 15 this is one set if you will look closely you will find a pattern so 1 into 5 okay 5 uh, 1 into 5 becomes 5 2 into 5 becomes 10 3 into 5 becomes 15 similarly 20 is the bigger number so 20 divided by 5 will become 4 so here the correct answer is 4 okay this was the pattern here i hope it's clear to you next is find the missing terms in the third figure assume the third figure works in the same way as the other two okay if you have not hit that like and subscribe until now and do do just <clears throat> do it just now it will help uh, it will motivate me for making more such videos okay next question is find the missing term in the third figure assume the third figure works in the same way as the other two so 14 11 22 12 10 20 okay now if you look closely you need to find a and b okay you don't you don't have to solve it you can just by looking at the options only you will find it now see a and b now what is the relation between this 11 and 22 so 11 22 is double of 11 similarly what is the relation of 10 and 20 20 is double of 10 similarly b b value will be twice of a okay by following this pattern b value will be twice of a is that simple as that okay now you look at the options what is the double values we are getting okay there are two double values we are getting okay b is twice of a okay b is twice of a so is here b twice of a no is here b twice of a no is here b twice of a yes b is twice of a is here b twice of a answer is no so the by hit and trial we have found out that okay c is the correct option here okay you didn't need to solve this question but just by looking at the pattern the other figures were following you have simply found out that okay this is the correct option now i hope this question is clear to you now all the questions regarding puzzles i have discussed here if you want more such videos on infosys or any other e exam or any other company or any section you want you can write in the comment section that yes sir we want this type of videos and also please do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel and please do not forget to comment down that when is your infosys exam and would you like to have a mock test before giving your actual infosys sc exam do write in the comment section okay and if you are interested for preparation of infosys exam you can check out this material on our top mid page the links of this material you will find in the description box as well as in the pinned comment and all the sections which will be coming in your exam are discussed here with the previous year questions proper questions answers and options are there do check this material if you are preparing for your infosys exam okay so guys this was it for this video thank you for watching this video